what's up viewers brad proprietor of barstool entertainment doing a video on tips and tricks for grand theft auto the first one here i'm going to go on the map and as you see i'm zooming in in this area that's sort of where franklin lives and there's this building here that i'm highlighting and i'm going to place a marker next to this building and there's a reason for me doing that because this building contains helicopters right from the beginning of the game and it's a great way to get your flying skills up since i restarted the game grand theft auto 5 from the beginning in previous videos they were filmed when I had finished up the game and I was trying to do some fun things or finish off a few side events since I restarted I decided I'm gonna give you some advice and right now I'm driving Trevor to the location where I showed you to get a helicopter the helicopters as I stated before spawn almost immediately you can get them right from the beginning of Franklin's missions once you're allowed to start walking around freely and you know I've gotten Michael Franklin and Trevor's flight skills up to 100 percent by just using these helicopters and that's even before the flight school is available so I'm gonna just let this play out a little bit and once I get to the location I'll explain things to you As you can see, this location is a hospital, and it is not too far from where Franklin lives and where he starts out. What you want to drive to is this side of the building. I believe it's the east side, and there's these steps that take you up to the roof. And on the roof are helipads. Usually helicopters spawn there. Not all the time, but once you get up there, you can check. You can kind of see from street if you look around, but right now it doesn't look like there are any helicopters. But I'm going to go all the way up to the top here and show you the location. And there are two helipads. There can be one to two helicopters. It depends on the time of day and when you get there. Again, if they haven't spawned, just leave. And I'm going to put in a view here and right here on top of this building again it's in right near where Franklin lives and you just come to this building and you'll be able to start flying now I'm gonna go back down to the ground and get a car and leave the area and come back The other car was a little beat up, so I'm going to steal another, and what I'm going to do is, since I'm going to leave the area, I'm going to put things to some use, and I'm going to show you on a map another area, and in this area is a suit or set of body armor, and one of the things you don't want to do in Grand Theft Auto is buy body armor. There is body armor located all over the place. This is one of the more convenient locations if you're in the south area of Los Santos. And so I'm going to drive to this area, then come back to the hospital for the helicopter. And hold on here. It looks like I've got a police wanted level, which means you can't see it on the way I filmed things. But I'm going to try and get out of here and get away from the police. Well, okay, I kind of suck at driving and I flipped the truck, so 
I'm gonna have to hide while I'm on foot. So, let's play a little game of hide and seek with the police. Okay, it looks like the police wanted level dropped off. I'm going to run back to the hospital and check if from what I'm seeing right now from the view, I can see a helicopter has spawned. So what I'm going to do is run up to the hel helipad and grab the helicopter and go get the body armor. Okay, there are two helicopters here. I'm just going to grab one. One of the things is having these helicopters available right away does make life a little easier as far as traveling around Los Santos. There is no fast travel in Grand Theft Auto. It's all about driving. Well, I can tell you, you grab these helicopters and not only do you get your flying skills up, which is important, you can get to areas and find, you know, if you know where there are hidden weapons, or in this case, body armor, well, you can get there quickly. Now, this location is gang controlled, and if you come walking out with a gun ready, they're going to start shooting at you. If you cause any form of trouble, they're going to come shooting, and you don't want to get in a battle with them. So just walk out, and if you walk up to this dumpster by these kind of low-rent apartments, as you can see, there's the body armor. And now I'm going to, once I grab this, I'm going to take you to another location where there's body armor, and it's in the northern part of the city near where Michael lives. And then I'm going to show you body armor near where Trevor lives. So I'm going to fast forward the flight to the next area. Uh, before I show you, I'm going to show you on the map where the body armor is, then I'll fast forward the flight. It's in the northern part of Los Santos, and it's kind of up here near this building area that kind of is weird shaped and you fly up there and I'm gonna put a marker there so we know where it is and then we'll get there and I'll show you where the body armor is located Okay, I landed on the wrong side of the building. Uh, body armor is not here, so I guess I'll get back in the chopper and fly over to the correct side of the building. Okay, this is the correct side of the building, and I'll show you right now where it is, and zoom in here, and it's right here by this weird shaped building. 
I landed on the wrong side. Now I'm on the correct side. And so it's in this area. It's not too far from Michael's house. And if you walk over here, there's some body armor. Like I said, there is no need to buy body armor in Grand Theft Auto. So now I'm going to fly out into the country and show you another area and some other pointers. And I'm going to fast forward, so please don't get airsick. Okay, this area is right near where Trevor lives, just down the road. It's the Sandy Shores Medical Clinic near Lake Alamo. And this area not only has body armor in the back, which is right here by this cage, but if you walk around or run around to the front area, there is a medical kit, so if you are low on life and need body armor, landing here or getting here is a great way to get your character back up to health and get body armor. Right there is the medical clinic, or the, uh, whatever, first aid kit, and it's at the county sheriff. And then you just run around back, and we'll move on. Okay, now if you are familiar, this is the landing strip where if you've played through some of Trevor's missions before you go to Los Santos, you, at the end of his mission, have the opportunity to buy property. Do not buy property. I cannot stress this. Until you are done with the game and have gone through and done the assassination mission, missions. Another thing you need to do is don't buy anything online until you've gone through the entire game, gotten your money, done the assassination missions, and invested it properly. I'll do a video later on the assassination missions and how to invest properly. You can look it up on YouTube as well. There are other people who've done it, but again, Essentially, don't buy anything because you want to focus on guns, ammo, and whatever else you need to do the missions. So, we will move on to the next bit of advice. Okay, we're going to move on to my next bit of advice. Hard save. Use your hard saves because they are very critical and you're going to get into a situation where if you haven't hard saved and you screw up something, you can't reload or redo. Well, if you hard save while flying, another trick is, and I've put this in other videos, is if you're flying and suddenly you get shot down or you crash and you end up at a medical clinic, all you gotta do is reload that hard save and you're back flying. And if your vehicle is damaged, well, who cares? It's no longer damaged. Now I'm going back to Franklin here for a very good reason and then we're going to go forward on the mission with Franklin. Okay, I flipped to the map, and now I'm going to zoom in here, and I'm going to move over to this L icon. L is Lester. 
and it is marked assassination. If you can see in the lower right area, Lester, when Franklin first meets him, starts to hire Franklin to do assassination missions. In fact, after the first assassination mission, Franklin moves into this very fancy home where you see him. And what happens is Lester starts calling Franklin to do more assassination missions. Do not do those missions. Wait until the final heist. And once you get your money from the final heist, you can use the money you make for all your characters and invest in certain stocks. I'm not going to elaborate anymore, but just do not do any assassination missions after the first one. And this is my, I guess, list of stuff to do and advice for Grand Theft Auto V if you're starting over, starting a new game, and you want to play through to 100%, which is what I'm trying to do. And so, again, one of the requirements is you have to make a billion dollars. And the only way you can do that is to invest properly. Well, I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, doing another wonderful Grand Theft Auto video. As always, thanks for stopping by. Thank mm -hmm. you.